Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we talked about the MVC architecture, the Rails MVC architecture. And we talked about uh, just three of the folders that are in there, the model, view, and controller folders. Now, if you want to know more about the rest of the folders that are in there, I would suggest to go to Rails Guides, click on the Getting Started, and then right here, if you scroll down, you will see where they talk about these uh, folders. So each of them, we were in the app folder and we, we just touched on three, the MVC model view controller folders. But the rest of them are all, they talk about them here. So if you just want a quick overview of the rest of the files folders, just uh, go to Rails Guides and go here. I'm gonna close this and then move on to the next thing. We are going to be talking about active record associations. Now, if you look at our application, uh, well, this is where we left it off. And we only have one model, which is the post. So if we go to slash posts, yours might be articles. So if you're going, if you're following the tutorial is from uh, Rails Guides, they, they create articles, but I created posts. So here's our posts. And we want to add another model. And this is a user model. We're going to use device. If you type in device, this is a gem that we're going to use to add our users. Okay, we're not going to do it right now, but I just want to show you that this is what we're going to use, and we'll get into it and uh, implement it through a video tutorial. Tutorial. So moving on to introduction to associations. So what associations do is they facilitate the interaction of uh, two or more models. In, in our case, it's going to be posts and users. We already have posts and we're going to add users. They simplify operations such as data retrieval, interaction between these models, and um, only one model posts so far is what we have, right? We'll add a, a user model and uh, we will talk about two associations. There are more than two associations, but uh, we are just going to be dealing with two for this tutorial, okay? The first one is going to be the belongs to. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one connection between our post and the user model. So in our case, uh, the post is going to belong to the user. The next one is the has many. The has many association connects, um, you know, again, uh, one to many connections with another model. Uh, the user in this case is going to have many posts. Okay, now if you go to your search engine, type in active record associations, it'll take you to this site. Let's just do it together so you can see. So I'm just going to plug in the active record associations. Okay, it's going to be the first one right there. Just click on that, it will take you to this site. And then this is where we have more information on uh, the associations. I would encourage you to read through this. And if you just want to focus on the first two that we're talking about, it's the belongs to, if you look on chapters on the right, this belongs to, that's what, what, what we're going to be talking about. In our case, instead of books, we're going to have posts. Instead of authors, we're going to have users. That's the first one, right? Uh, the next one is going to be the belongs to, uh, I mean, the has many. So again, if you go to the chapters and you click on uh, has many association. Chapters, has many, click on that one. That's the second one we're going to be talking to talking about. So here they discuss how authors have many books. In our case, our users are going to have many posts. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions and comments, please feel free to send them to feedback at zambezi.app. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to be implementing device. Thank you. Bye-bye.